morning. Hi, Rap Stein, and here we are with your Tuesday morning flash update. And this is the 5th of March, 2024. It's 8.15 a.m., and it's a full of information day. When I say full, this is a big day with an awful lot of information. What do I mean by that? Well, let's start right here. Red Book sales came out up 2.8%. When you compare the first four weeks of Feb versus last year, up 3.1%. Uh, when you compare it to the week ending March 2nd to a year ago. But now we're gonna get the S&P Global uh, Group, their final February service sector PMIs. Then we get the ISM data, and that's gonna come out with service sector for February. Factory orders are gonna be important. They come out at nine o'clock, the API numbers. We did get China's growth rate. Uh, they set it at the same, 5%. It'll be tough to get there because they had the benefit of coming out of pandemic last time, and they're not going to have that, uh, that wind behind them. So that's one thing. But where they're really spending money is on their defense budget, up to 7.2%, the largest in five years. Sort of sends a message to Taiwan to be careful what's going on. We saw that AMD had created a chip for China. The U.S. said, nope, too much information on that chip. You can't ship it. We have Super Tuesday today. So at the end of this, uh, I would expect that President Trump is the Republican nominee. I have no idea what uh, Nikki Haley's going to do or not do. Uh, she has to decide where she's at. You know, she could sit in the background and uh, hope that one of the court rulings does some things and all of a sudden her star gets bright. It's hard to tell. As you can see, you're getting something of a break in all the stock indices right here. Coming into support, as I'm reading it, in the S&P right now. The gold market continued with its rally. The market really believes that, uh, from the looks of it, that Fed Chair Powell, when he sits two days, starting on Wednesday and Thursday in front of Congress, is going to be more, let me use the word, dovish than hawkish. If that, in fact, is the case, all right. In the silver market, gaining a little bit on that. You went nowhere on the copper because the market's not saying, oh, here's that awe and might that China's going to do to shore up confidence, to shore up the housing sector. None of that took place. In the dollar index, just stable. I think that's the right word to use. You're going nowhere in the currencies right now at this point. The yen keeps going back down to the 66, uh, 50, 60 area, and it comes back over and over as traders are getting fearful uh, just when will a change in policy take place there. In the grain markets, rallies still have trouble holding. Now, you did get up yesterday and you took out the downtrend in the corn. That doesn't mean you've begun a real move to the upside, but it certainly looks to me like that's what the market is trying to do in a big way. The bonds and notes, well, you're losing yield. Now you're down in the 10-year to around the 416 area. And again, I'm saying, is the market ahead of itself? Is it uh, pricing in again, 66% uh, percent profit? probability of a June cut. You know what's going to start telling you that? Where the numbers are going to change? This week. You get ADP, Challenger Gray, U.S. jobs report at the end of the week. Once you get all these jobs in your belly, that's where you're at. So you have to see just what's going to happen. So again, I, I think that's going to be an interesting move. All right. So I want to remind you, you know, each morning, and I do mean each morning at five in the morning, excuse me there, let me get back to that, there we are. Each morning what I start doing is I start recording for my subscribers. We go through 40 charts. The charts are jet black with all the different studies. I put on Bollinger Band swing lines, moving averages, window envelopes, and a few proprietary things. But it's teaching as much as it's talking. I show you what I'm seeing, why I'm seeing it, where the setups are, why the setup is there. I'll look at a weekly chart, a daily chart, try to make the two come together and give you ideas for both shorter term and long term trading, both. So we talk that all the way through, even on the weekends, all we do is a long weekly chart, looking for longer positions. How do you get this? Go to our website, irapstein.com. When they're go under the name research, it's waiting for you. I'm Ira. You have yourself a good day. See you at the end of the day.